what are the different types of levels so if you take anything that may be any kind like there will be a level if you say stlc it's having a six level first level second level uh, in the same way it testing is also done in a different levels if you take an application let's take two examples here uh, windows application and web application so let's see first uh, let's take the example of this calculator and see what are the levels of testing for example so we got a project and uh, everything is done coding is done and the uh, first part of an application is released that is zero button one two three button and addition and equal to so these five buttons are released and they need to be tested so as i said unit testing they'll just develop a uh, code for a different single buttons and they'll test so unit testing we already discussed and it is done by a developer it's a small part of an application so this each and small part of an application then it there itself developer will be testing so there is no need of a tester to test because it's a very small part of an application it mostly involves so if i have only one button i what is the testing i need to do i don't have any other buttons if i click on a zero a zero will appear there is no any testing uh, testing mind is needed here the developer he need to test if he written a code like zero to appear in another form or zero button should be small anything a test a developer needs to see if it is a very small part of a application here testing is not needed so that is the reason unit testing is done by a developer so this is a important question uh, important interview question actually they'll ask uh, who will do the in unit testing and then uh, module testing here uh, what will be the module after developing a small part it will come to a module so plus button when these three buttons will come under a, uh, one module and again if it goes and develop like 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then under the functionality like subtraction button so it will become a module and it will become a module so so this is an entire application this is a sub module so this is a different module now this is a different module because uh, a cycle is nothing but a development of an application is done a testing testing will be done thoroughly and then the application will come into a life so that is one life cycle the next part of the application that is the next functionalities that will be taken into consideration they will develop the particular code and a testing is done and if it is uh, everything is good it will also be released and then next the life cycle in the same way here also uh this is the first module this is the second module so this will uh, he need to verify this module separately and this module separately so this uh, these are the different types of module in an application so this is called as a module if we test uh, different modules then it is called as a module testing for example if we take a same web application here we have different types of tabs that is personal loan home loan car loan everything so after developing this home page that will be a unit testing and here th this is a separate module he'll develop all the functionalities related to this menu and then the next module that is home loan and he'll develop all the links all the con page content everything in this module so these are different different modules so that is called as a module testing so this is this is the next step of a unit testing and the module testing is a very basic testing here module testing is nothing but we are uh, verifying the it, it will come to the same it's like a functionality testing what is a functionality testing we are verifying the actual value and expected value 
so in brd document at the time of development every point of each and every uh, web element in this application will be written so we know what is the uh, expected value but we don't know what is the actual value we are getting in an application so he will verify what is uh, what is the correct behavior on a application so that may be depending upon module that may be integration anything so the next step is integration so integration is nothing but if uh, for suppose first module is nothing but 1 2 3 plus button so we'll we'll verify this with number of probability conditions like 1 plus 2 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 3 number of probability we'll check okay at this module this is done and it's working <coughs> working perfectly and the next module is 4 5 6 and then subtraction button six a separate module the testing is done it is released now he's keeping all the same buttons in a uh, sing only single application so we don't have one two three buttons in separate application and the next buttons in separate application the entire thing is kept on a single application so he need to verify the combinations like he need to again verify the mixed functionalities with addition and subtraction did you get my point like uh, integration is testing uh, nothing but all the modules will get into a uh, will be tested by mixing them so here after, uh, why do we need to do integration testing uh, why cannot i leave because i have developed that module is done the testing is done and the next module that testing is also done why should i not go to next module why is the, what is the importance of a integration so if you take a coding part all the code will be there at a single point he will write the code in a single uh, single editor only and he will keep in a uh, uh, pro there, there will be a project he will write number of uh, coding structures coding languages everything uh, so any time the code may corrupt if he misses a single line if there is a hundred line if he misses a single line it will uh, remove all the functionalities so if you see these buttons are side by side only the program of this button may interfere with this and the functionality may be corrupted and the entire functionality the total functionality which ever been developed till now everything will be corrupted and it's not it won't work so there is a risk here so for that reason after developing this application also we need to verify integration testing so we need to see we need to attach each and everything and need to do the integration test so uh, when do this integration testing mainly come uh, suppose if there is any uh, software needs to be installed in an application so what i need to do i need to see whether it is uh, being fixed like if i am a tester i'll have an operating system windows installed in my system and a browser that is ff and i'll test that an application but tomorrow if the end user that is the customer who is using should not be broken even though that is all the separate modules are uh, attaching here if you see the entire thing the whole thing here is the calculator o in that only every small module has been developing so at the end this this entire module will be into a one single application so even though after adding a, uh, each individual module so it, at the end the integration should not fail it should be success so that all the past and present functionalities will function correctly so that is called integration testing uh, did you understand this what is a unit what is a module what is the integration testing mm, i still have confusion with this integration and the module <laughs> okay so as a uh, did you understand the profile and through the email he is able to invite his friends and he is creating his own own things and tomorrow there may be a function sometimes so that is the reason uh, everything needs to be tested after development so here what we are doing the name itself indicates like we are integrating the past modules with the present modules everything is on in a single application so here in only the facebook we are sharing our images videos everything on in a single application like we don't have sub it's not navigating to other application for sharing our videos or anything it's like a single application but daily we are getting a new functionalities day by day we, now we can create any group uh, any page for promoting anything 
so the, uh, these type of functionalities are coming now so we need to do the integration testing with the past one also every time we need to check whether okay i have developed that functionality i need to i need not to go that it should not be that way i need to verify every functionality if a new functionality is uh, come so this is called integration for this integration testing we do regression testing so i'll also say the time of types of testing like what is the importance of regression testing everything so this is the integration uh, doing module uh, present functionality with the past functionality Uh, still any confusion okay yes ajita um um we need what i what i understood is, uh, okay so if you take calculator as an example and zero goes together or not right yes so exactly what comes this module testing then yeah because uh, we have developed zero in one cycle one two in another cycle right okay. so we are verifying zero functionality then when it is developed and one two functionality separately when we developed and yeah. after doing module testing only we are integrating this one two button with zero and verifying whether uh, keeping together three three buttons whether these three are working correctly or not so here this two are separately see the past one is unit and the new one is a module and the we are combining both is called as the integration testing okay okay got it yeah thank so, you yeah so that is the main uh, unit module and integration so the main part if the whole entire testing will come under this system testing what exactly is this system testing so now if i take this uh, loan for loan loan application for example so my application is now ready so my modules are ready and my form is home page is ready everything is ready so i need to verify so here if you take any bank a uh, bank account so, uh, for example if i if i have a small database i can store only 100 users what if my uh, my like the customers may increase at any time if the uh, quality of an uh, application is good the customers may increase up to 1 lakh 10 lakh anything so everything need to be uh, under system testing everything can be tested that is a performance or a load performance is nothing but we are checking a response time so if i click on a link how much time it is taking it to load that particular page so we are verifying the time response time so calculating this response time is nothing but a performance testing so this can also be done and load testing so if i if a 100 users so we have different countries uh, worldwide so this application if it is a global one number number of people from different countries may click at this particular link at a time like in once per in a second so many there may be a probability or there may be a chance of 100 people clicking this particular button so uh, it will say like uh, it should load in in a uh, like what is that given time like if i need to click on a link it should open in 2 uh, seconds there may be some all uh, uh, pre calculations so this needs to be tested so verifying with a number of users it is called as a load testing and security testing for suppose if i am logging into my wells fargo account uh, but i i forgot to use uh, click on a log off and i have closed and i am on a internet center and the some other person comes into the same city in an internet center if he open this wells fargo by uh, by mistake it will already logged into account he can do anything with that account he can uh, credit into his account anything he can do so for that reason uh, what the bank people will do they'll keep the uh, log off time so it will automatically uh, log off the, from that uh, from if you keep anything ideally uh, a particular time it will have session out time that is automatically for a security reason it is uh, automatically logged off so that is that will type that type of testing is called as a uh, security testing so here there are number of number of types of testing so here the number of types of testing are involved here so system testing is nothing but we can do we can verify particular application in any way i may do performance i may do uh, functional testing anything any type of testing will come under this system testing so here 
the upper level is conventional next black box and then the system testing under system testing i can do any 